Hey guys, this is Yoka Gaming here, back with another scripting tutorial. And today, I'm going to be teaching you about debris. Now, debris is sort of like colon destroy, but I personally think it's a little better in terms of um, performance. Now, debris would probably be found if um, if we could uh, see inside popular games, things like maybe mining simulators or any sort of mining simulator games, maybe even Azure Mines, things like that. Um, those games would most likely have this uh, debris function. And the reason why they use debris instead of colon destroy is to reduce lag. For some reason, colon destroy creates a lot of lag while uh, debris doesn't. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you just how to um, use debris. <laughs> So yeah, let's just get started. Now, of course, I'm just going to quickly build a... Ooh, I'm just going to uh, quickly build a basic sort of block. Just so I can show you. So I'm just going to uh, make a basic stone block. I'm going to put a click detector inside the block as well as a script. Um, if you don't know about click detectors, um, I'll try to briefly run through them as well. But basically, in here, I'm going to first do an example with colon destroy. Now, there won't be a big lag spike or anything, but I wanted to uh, show you colon destroy first, and then I'll show you colon, uh, sorry, the add debris or thing. So, of course, we're going to reference the click detectors dot mouse click colon con oh, connect function. And just a case I'll add player inside here. Of course, if you don't know um, what click detect or what what in the world this is, of course I'll quickly run through it. Script apparent, you know, roughly script, referencing the parts. Uh, you know, script is uh, the child of parts. Part is the parent of script. Script apparent, and then click detector. So we're referencing click detector. Oh, there you go. And the dot mouse click. So this is an event. So you know when, um, sorry, when this part is clicked. Then, of course, colon connect function, do whatever's in here. So whenever this part is clicked, do whatever's inside here. Player is just there to refer um, to show which player clicked it. I don't uh, believe we will be using that today, though. So yeah. So in here, I'm just going to do script up here and colon destroy. I did a tutorial on colon destroy, if you are ever uh, interested. And if we run the game... Of course, you can see that, yep, boop, it disappears, it, it's destroyed, bada bing, bada boom. Now, of course, when you're, I guess, should I say mass destroying things, so just sort of, um, I don't know, clicking a bunch of different blocks, and you're, you know, clone destroy, clone destroy, clone destroy, things like that, at some point, it's just going to get very laggy, I'm not exactly sure why, but it's... If you want a good game, or if you want a game that performs well, then you're probably not want you're not going to want that lag. So that's where um, debris comes in. Now debris is a service, all right. So of course, to reference debris, you would have to do go game colon get service debris. Oh, that's an S debris right there. And then after this, you just go add item oh no wait no sorry colon add item script parent and zero for instant so what I'm saying here is of course I'm referencing the service debris and in here you can see this is debris right here this is these are all the services all right anything that's in this first layer is a service and of course after that colon add item I'm just adding an item to a queue, or in other words, um, when I say add item, I'm adding, uh, of course, script parent. so this part. So I'm basically adding this part into a queue to be destroyed. And how long is this, or how long will the queue take? Um, zero. So in other words, I'm basically saying destroy this part in zero seconds, or as fast as the computer can. And if we run the game, You could see that if I click it, it also disappears as well. Now, of course, 
I am aware that these both function the same, but once again, for some reason, debris works better than Clone Destroy in terms of lag and all that stuff. So yeah. Now let's say you want, for some reason, maybe a two second delay. Then of course, uh, in place of zero, you would just put two. And of course, if we run the game, you can see that after we click it, one, two, and bam, it's, it's gone. It poofed. It got Thanos snapped from reality. <laughs> so yeah, um, I know this tutorial was very short, but I hoped uh, it helped you in some way. So if you ever, if your game is ever laggy because you're deleting blocks, this is probably why. Just switch to, um, you know, debris, add item, things like that. It should be an easy fix. No biggie. So yeah, um, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments section below. I will try to answer them as soon as I can. But other than that, um, have fun scripting, be safe out there, and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.